Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer. We are back with another boat safari ride episode. So this is the second episode. If you missed the first one, we added the capuchin monkey. I highly recommend you to watch that one if you haven't seen it yet. So the second episode is for the jaguars. This is voted on by my viewers that were watching this live stream because I'm building this whole ride during my live streams on Twitch. So if you want to join any of the live streams, definitely go and check out the link in the description to my Twitch channel. So we're starting off with a cave-ish section for the jaguars to have some shelter and also to, to sleep and also to climb a little bit. So we add a, a little waterfall and also like a small little river section. Well, I, I don't really think you ca can call it a river section, but it's like a really small water section from one side to the glass of the big river to the indoor section, or it's not even an indoor section, just the shelter area for the jaguar underneath the rocks, I guess. So they also have some leaves instead of hay bedding, so you barely notice there are some leaves, but it's really cool to see the jaguar sleeping on the inside of the glass, so that is really awesome. And we also have like this fake stream above the waterfall, well, like, it's like a really small waterfall. Um, but I also added some logs over that waterfall for the jaguars to fulfill their climbing need and to have the feeling that there is like some branches falling over the waterfall itself. So that is really cool. They actually really use it in the game. So I really like that. And after that, we go and start building a more open outdoor area, if you can call it that way. So a really big area. And again, my viewers voted for whether or not we're going to add a waterfall or not in that more open section too and they all said yes we really want to see another waterfall in this area so we have a bigger waterfall on the other side of the habitat and because like there was this issue with electric fences well not per se electric fences but the jaguars love to swim so what do you do when you have this river boat ride going through a habitat and you don't want to have like glass fences all over the habitat, they will actually swim and escape. So we had this issue with like first adding some electric fences like really low because I didn't want the jaguars to escape obviously. So but if you put it too low, they could either from one side just jump from the terrain all over the fence into the water or they were just able to climb over it. Uh, so you had to raise it up a lot in order to make sure that they won't be able to escape. So that was quite an issue and it really annoyed me at first. So in the end, I deleted the whole electric fence and uh, I will show you guys in a little bit how we fix this to make sure that it still feels like a more natural boat ride without those weird fences in the water cutting things off. I just really didn't like that. So something else we did with the waterfall, something I also did during my South America dome in my city zoo, I used the mist particles. Sometimes it's just really nice to use some mist particles to create some kind of misty feeling with the waterfall. And I think for this tropical environment, it definitely fits. So I really like that we added some mist particles to just give a little bit more to the environment and to give a little bit more ambiance to it. So yeah, as I said, I removed the electric fences in a later stage, which were cutting off the path between the jaguar habitat and the boat ride. So I had to close everything off on the other side of the river. So first I started off with a lot of nature, like a lot of rocks and some trees and a lot of overhanging trees because you really want to get like this jungle feeling vibe going on. But obviously, the jaguar, as I said, loves to swim, so the issue was that the jaguar was really 
escaping so often and they were even able to escape from the sides where you have like the boat ride coming into the habitat to put it that way so yeah we had to use a lot of the elephant grass to make sure that the jaguar would not be able to escape anymore it was really it took me quite a long time to make sure that all the escape points from all the sides and also with the trees where they were able to climb on uh, to fix everything and uh, to make it uh, jaguar save proof the only thing now is that the jaguars are basically just able to swim around the whole boat if they want to so that could be more of a reference to re realism like obviously in real life if you would go with a boat through a jungle you would not have any fences to uh, make sure that the jaguar would not be able to swim around the bow. So yeah, I think it's just a really cool feature in the end. So and lastly, we also added some kind of rock gate, I think, or rock gate bridge, how you want to call it, just to give like a little bit of a scene overflow with between the jaguar and the capuchin monkey i think that is the best way to explain it uh, but i will show you guys around of course at the end of this video but overall i'm really happy with how this habitat has turned out i think it's very beautiful and lush with a lot of different types of flowers to to give them color variations in and just to make sure that the jaguars would not be able to escape anymore it was quite a challenge but i'm actually really proud that we managed to fix that in a later stage and it was just overall a lot of fun to build this habitat so the next habitat is going to be a habitat for the koalas because that was the first day that we had our hands on the australia pack so I was super excited to finally start some koalas in. I might because that is a very small habitat and after that we also did the kangaroo so I might put these two in one video so two habitats in one video the next time but as I said like I'm doing this on my relaxing own time on Switch so I'm not going to push myself on any schedule for uploading on YouTube so just stay tuned it will be probably once every two weeks, maybe once every three weeks, whenever I am ready to upload anything, then you will see a new episode. And as I said, if you want to just see it live on Twitch, we have some really lovely and amazing live streams with a lovely community. Definitely just join my Twitch and uh, yeah, come and join, watch my live streams. It's just a lot of fun and really hope you guys will all enjoy. And if you just want to watch some speed builds, then obviously just be patient and they will be uploaded to YouTube in a later stage so don't worry about that too much. So yeah without further talking please do enjoy the rest of this speed build video and I will see you guys at the end of this video to show you guys around.
All right, so from the capuchin habitat, you go with your boat through this gate bridge, as I said, rocky gate bridge. I'm not really sure how to call it. So these are the elephant grass I mentioned in the speed build video to make sure that the jaguar is not able to swim through here. So that is how you can avoid that. So this is the first area, the cave-ish area for the jaguar to be able to have a sleep and stay dry from the rain if it starts to rain because well we're in a tropical environment so it can pour rain every now and then and uh but yeah the jaguar has like these awesome logs right over here going over this small little waterfall and uh doing some moonwalking and stuff yeah <laughs> And uh, so yeah, this is basically their climbing need on this this side, but we also have the same on the other side. And as I mentioned, there are like leaf beddings right over here for them to sleep uh, pretty up close to the boat right, right over here. And I really like this extension of the water section on two sides. Uh, so yeah, I really like this indoor section and obviously those fences and stuff you won't really see from the boat ride itself because they're pretty well not really obvious so and you pretty much drive uh, past pretty fast so yeah <laughs> so from the indoor section we go to this beautiful outdoor section i just really really love this viewing from here like with all these trees hanging over i really love how this is looking and it's just super lush and tropical and as you can see, also over here, they're already using the logs as I intended. So we have some logs right over here for them for some time. For, what just happened? Right, okay. <laughs> this is hilarious. I don't know what happened, but since the update, <laughs> some really weird things happen. But we just enjoy it and we just pretend it, it's, it should be like this, I guess. Uh, so yeah, we have this waterfall right over here. And of course, like just a very lush and, and beautiful environment. And obviously there is a gate right over here, which we're going to change a little bit. But the guests will not really see it when you pass by. It's like super fast. And uh, yeah, it's just really hoping to get a glimpse of the Jaguar. And as I mentioned, they can also just, uh, yeah, swim right around the boat right over here. And uh, we had to make sure again that the jaguar is not able to escape on this side. So we use a lot of elephant glass grass for that again. And uh, they also had like these escaping points right over here on the rocks. But we fixed that in a later stage with the uh, koala habitat. But overall, this is just looking really, really beautiful, jungly and lush on that side. But obviously the main feature for this habitat is on this side of the habitat. So some habitats will have like things going over from one side to the other side and some habitats will just have one side feature. So it's going to be a little bit different along the way with the habitats. And uh, in a later stage, I'm also thinking to do a little bit more building. So not only nature, like how many rocks do you want? Yes. <laughs> but there are so many other things I would love to do with this uh, boat ride. But we're just going to wait and see how this will end up but so far I'm really extremely happy with how this one is looking and for those that are wondering how many animals I'm going to add in this ride I have no idea I have no plan or whatsoever most of the animals will be picked by the viewers and my subscribers on Twitch so uh, yeah we're just gonna wait and see if I'm finished I'm finished okay there you go you see the Jaguar right now swimming right over here but yeah, we're finished when we're finished and maybe it's like 10 animals, maybe it's 15. I'm not going to build like a whole zoo around it. So something like that, but it's going to be a shorter series than the other series we have going on. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this new Jaguar Habitat in our Boat Safari episode. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to support the channel a little extra, you may want to consider to become a FaveFam member with the link down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!